Hi, Maria Watkins here from the music business Made Easy. Today is part two of understanding the music publisher. We'll take a look at the different types of music publishing deals. If you missed last week, be sure to check out part one. Let's get started. Number one, the co-publishing deal. In the co-publishing deal, both the publisher and the writer owns the copyright in the work. The publisher will administer the copyrights. In this type scenario, it's typical for the writer to expect an advance in their agreement. However, when receiving income, the publisher then will receive 50% of the publishing income versus 100%, as we looked at last week when the writer transfers all the rights over to the publisher. The writer will receive 100% of the writer's income plus 50% of the publishing income. With an administrative deal, the copyrights would be administered by the publisher. However, the rights are not transferred over to the publisher for the licensing and exploitation of the music. The writer retains all rights and receives 100% of the writer's share plus whatever that agreement was with the administrating publisher who would receive anywhere from 15 to 25% of the publishing share of the income. We spoke last week on the full publishing agreement where all the rights are transferred over to the publisher. It is also sometimes called a buyout agreement. Not to be confused when I spoke last week on how a publisher can build its catalog by purchasing songs outright from a writer. The difference is the writer relinquishes all rights to the writer's share as well. The whole song belongs to the publisher. So in a full publishing agreement, the writer still has the writer's share of rights plus the writer's income. Finally, there's a sub-publishing deal. A sub-publishing deal involves publishers coming into agreements with foreign publishers to exploit and collect royalties and revenue from territories around the world. So whether a full publishing agreement, a co-publishing agreement, or an administrative publishing agreement, those publishers will make agreements for the licensing and the collection of revenue and income from foreign territories. I sincerely hope that this was helpful to you and it is bringing you closer to understanding how you can be empowered to handle your music's business. Be sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me hear some comments and feedback from you. It encourages me to continue making these videos, but I need to know that it's being helpful to you. Thank you so much and have a great day.